I'm going to drink. I got my medical card, right? I got my medical card. And you know what's funny? Now that weed has gone recreational, you know who I feel bad for? I feel bad for like the neighborhood weed man. <laughs> I do, right? Like, we need something like a non profit or a GoFundMe for those things. Because you know, they'll still call you, too. And I feel bad because you know, we go to dispensaries. Like, he called me before the show, right? And I said, I said Isaac. I probably shouldn't say his name. I said, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I go to the dispensary. He got all mad. You know, he's like, you're going to the dispensary, man. You're going to do that. I'm like, yeah. He goes, why? I said, because they got coupons. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> love it, man. I love my family. Let me tell you a little bit about us. Right? Catholic. Catholic religion is a beautiful religion. Because all the stories in the Bible reflect our own lives. It's true. Like the story of the three wise men happens at my house almost every weekend. <laughs> it does. First story of wise men. Three dudes come over to brother's house. They all brought gifts. Two of the three brought a good gift. <laughs> one brought gold. One brought frankincense. One the third one bring. Anybody remember? Myrrh. Myrrh, right? Can't do shit with myrrh. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, my cousins came by, three of them, all brought a gift. One brought tequila. All right. Yeah, one brought weed. <laughs> my cousin Isaac brought the movie Beaches. <laughs> and I'm like, Isaac, what's wrong with you? Why would you bring Beaches? Well, he got an attitude with me right back. He's like, man, what? That's what you told me to bring, eh? Beaches. <laughs> We're watching beaches. It's a good movie. You know, we made my wings, the girl died. I cried for three days. I'm sensitive. That's what ladies say they want nowadays, right, ladies? Sensitivity. Woo! Fucking one. All right. <laughs> It's always like things that turn a woman on. And what's always the number one thing it says? Sense of humor. Let's be honest, that's bullshit. Right? <laughs> you don't want a guy like me that's going to make you laugh and make you feel good about yourself. Hell no, you want a guy that kicks some ass and throw some chingasco. That's what you want. <laughs> and, and it makes sense. In May, if I'm laying in bed with you tonight and a burglar breaks in the house, you don't want me in the living room. Okay, get away. Two Jews walking to a bar. Like, <laughs> Kids, right? I got a son, and, uh, and my son. I love my son. My son's white, and so like, well, because his mom's white, you know. But like, he came out fucking clear. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and it's, and it's I just wish I would have known how white he was gonna look like before I named him. You know, because like the name don't match. <laughs> you no, know, because I gave like my son, so I gave him like a family name, and so his name is Santos. Francisco Hernandez. But, but then you look at him and he looks like a fucking Trevor. Like, you know, like, <laughs> He's got allergies now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I had to go to the allergy doctor in Chandler because apparently he was allergic to the outside. <laughs> like, if you even did, it's like birch and burka, alfalfa, like alfalfa. Like, you allergic to white kids now. <laughs> Liliana, right? And she's three, right? And I don't know if anybody's got like toddlers or those mm -hmm. kids, right? You know, okay, but right now she's doing like creepy toddler shit. Right? <laughs> you know, you know what my baby does? She'll wake me up at three o'clock in the morning and she'll just be like, Dad, Dad. Yeah, honey, what you need? I'll come back later. Like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Too, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm older. I'm not old, but I'm, I'm older. You know, I, like we were raised differently. We were raised. We were just. We were like, you know, we were like, like raised with fear. We were fear raised. You know, like you know, we had like you look at kids like bedtime stories, right? Everyone else has cute stories. You know, three bears and Cinderella. She's like, you know, we had a story for instance called La Llorona. <laughs> okay, you know, okay, so for those of you not familiar with the story of La Llorona, here's a quick synopsis. Okay, it's a story of a woman in love with this man. But the man doesn't want to be with his woman because she's got these kids. So the woman goes to a lake and drowns her kid. Oh my God. And then the man rejects the woman again because obviously the bitch is crazy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I 
So she goes to the same lake and then kills herself. So for Latinos like me, this is our bedtime story. Okay. And then afterwards, my mom would have the nerve to say, okay, Michael, let's go take a bath now. No, no. You know, and shit like that. <laughs> I got, they, it's sad. They're five and three, but they know about the internet and the TikToks already. It's sad. You gotta fight fire with fire sometimes, dude. If it's nine o'clock and they're not asleep in their bed, and I gotta scare them to go to, you know what I gotta do? I can't open the door. Like, hey, what did I tell you guys? What did I? Okay, here it comes. Jada Pinkett. <laughs> Jada Pinkett. Because if I say Jada Pinkett three times, Will Smith will come in the room and smack the shit out of him. <laughs> Hey, you know what? If I got like the Fresh Prince and the Candy Man so I can have edibles at nine, there you go.